Hey there, happy Monday. Welcome to another word of encouragement from Our Daily Bread. Today's reading titled, How to Wait, was written by Tim Gustafson. Frustrated and disappointed with church, 17-year-old Trevor began a years-long quest for answers, but nothing he explored seemed to satisfy his longings or answer his questions. His journey did draw him closer to his parents. Still, he had problems with Christianity. During one discussion, he exclaimed bitterly, The Bible is full of empty promises. Another man faced disappointment and hardship that fueled his doubts. But as David fled from his enemies who sought to kill him, his response was not to run from God, but to praise him. Though war break out against me, even then I will be confident, he sang in Psalm 27.3. Yet David's poem still hints at doubt. His cry, be merciful to me and answer me, sounds like a man with fears and questions. Do not hide your face from me, David pleaded. Do not reject me or forsake me. David didn't let his doubts paralyze him, however. Even in those doubts, he declared in verse 13, I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Then he addressed his readers, you and me and the Trevors of this world. Wait for the Lord. Be strong and take heart and wait for the Lord. We won't find fast, simple answers to our huge questions, but we will find, when we wait for Him, a God who can be trusted. These are the psalmist David's words from Psalm 27, verses 1 through 3, and verses 7 through 14. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked advance against me to devour me, it is my enemies and my foes who will stumble and fall. Though an army besiege me, my heart will not fear. Though war break out against me, even then I will be confident. And now verses 7 through 14. Hear my voice when I call, Lord. Be merciful to me and answer me. My heart says of you, seek his face. Your face, Lord, I will seek. Do not hide your face from me. Do not turn your servant away in anger. You have been my helper. Do not reject me or forsake me, God my Savior. Though my father and mother forsake me, the Lord will receive me. Teach me your way, Lord. Lead me in a straight path because of my oppressors. Do not turn me over to the desire of my foes, for false witnesses rise up against me, spouting malicious accusations. I remain confident of this. I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord. Be strong and take heart and wait for the Lord. Now let's pray. Father in heaven, teach us to turn to you in prayer all of the time, and especially when we have questions about our situation that may seem uncertain. Thank you for the peace that we can have simply in bringing our concerns to you and trusting you with them. Thank you, Lord. It's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Today's encouragement was provided by Our Daily Bread Ministries.